There was a recent report, and we've got to talk about Jeffrey Lurie. We've got to talk about him. To be honest, I, I like Jeffrey Lurie as an owner. We've been a pretty successful team under his ownership. We've had six NFC Championship appearances, two NFC Championship wins, two Super Bowl appearances, one Super Bowl win. We've been a pretty stable team under Lurie. But this recent thing that came out, so... But first, I want to go back to something that happened earlier. Earlier this offseason, Jeffrey Lurie came out and said that we should prioritize making Jalen Hurts successful in 2021. He wanted Jalen Hurts to be the starter in 2021. And many people came out and actually criticized Lurie for voicing his opinion over that. And I actually defended Lurie on that front because, personally, if you're the owner and we're talking about a position, like a very important position like quarterback, like an integral position on the team, he's the owner. He should have a right to voice his opinion on that matter. If it's a position that important, then... Lurie, I, I don't have a problem with Lurie saying that, hey, we need to make Jalen Hurts as successful as possible in 2021. I didn't have a problem with that. But this recent story, so it was it came out either yesterday or two days ago. I believe the Philadelphia Inquirer reported it. So following the 2016 season, Jeffrey Lurie wanted our offensive coordinator, Frank Reich, fired. That was, If you remember, 2016 was the beginning of the Wentz-Peterson era. It was... Wentz's his rookie year, Doug Peterson's first season, Frank Reich's first season as offensive coordinator, Jeffrey Lurie wanted Frank Reich fired. And apparently, he said that if Doug Peterson didn't fire him, Doug Peterson was going to get fired. Now, thankfully, this didn't happen because Carson Wentz and his camp intervened, and they somehow got to convince Lurie to keep Frank Reich on by saying how he played a, a huge role in Wentz's development during his rookie season. So Frank Reich stayed with us, and we won the Super Bowl the following season. Now, this is what I have a problem with. Like, Lurie, you're trying, you're trying so hard to be Jerry Jones. Like, let these football matters stay to the football guys. It's just like Howie Roseman. Like, don't interfere with stuff like this. Like, let the guys who know about football deal with this kind of stuff. I don't like him interfering this with, like, I just don't like him just, what's the word? Tampering, I guess. Yeah, I just don't like him tampering on this level because now Jeffrey Lurie, Jeffrey Lurie might be an even bigger problem than Howie Roseman because you got Howie with all the blown picks. He infamously picked J.J. Arcega Whiteside, the umbrella man. He picked him over D.K. Metcalf. You had 2014 where we took Jordan Matthews over Devontae Adams. You got 2010 where we drafted a fireman in the first round, Danny Watkins. And, but honestly... Who can you blame for letting Howie get away with all this stuff? You got to blame Jeffrey Lurie. Jeffrey Lurie just will not hold Howie accountable. Howie Roseman, Howie Roseman could go into a hospital and beat up everybody and hold everybody at gunpoint, and Jeffrey Lurie would not, wouldn't see him as in the wrong. Jeffrey Lurie would defend him all the way. And I believe in another press conference earlier this season, Jeffrey Lurie defended Howie by saying, oh, the guys that Howie wanted were, were gone. Okay, okay, so what's your backup plan? What's your backup plan? It's like, Jeffrey Lurie, man, you just got, stop trying to be Jerry Jones and leave football matters to football guys. And for God's sakes, hold Howie Roseman accountable. Hold him accountable. We have, I believe, 12 picks in this draft, the most of any team in the NFL, if not 12 picks, I think 11. And Howie Roseman needs to get this draft right because this could be potentially the breaking point for Howie because if he messes up this draft, we have potentially three first-round picks next year. And if he messes up this year, do you trust him to make three first-round picks next year? I would think not. I would think not. So, Howie might be on some really thin ice. Jeffrey Lurie, you need to hold Howie accountable and just stay back. Stay back, man. I like you. You seem like a pretty cool guy, but just, just back up. Back up, Lurie.